place the silicone bumper stopper inside the proper seat in the head of the piston. Scroll up the O-ring with inner diameter 9.5 millimeters along the shaft to the head. Oil the head and insert it inside the upper mount. To lock the assembly, use the chamber plug. Add a small amount of medium thread locker and screw it using the appropriate tool. Grease the thread of the collar lock, then screw it to the top of the upper mount. Do the same with the collar adjuster. Clean the grease in excess. Insert the elastomer inside the pot, being careful that the blunted edge is on the top. Finally, place the seal in its seat. Once you have scrolled up the O-ring with inner diameter 25.5 mm on the collar adjuster, assemble the suspension, inserting the shaft inside the hole of the elastomer. Use the T-shaped tool to align and pull it out completely. Finally, assemble the mount bushings on the top hole of the upper mount. Place the O-ring with inner diameter 12.1 millimeters in its seat on the frame. Then place the suspension in the top support and fix it through the shock bolt. Add a small amount of medium thread locker on the screw and lock the system to 4 Nm. Then rotate the suspension until it is aligned with the frame and the shaft is inserted in its seat. Fix the suspension with the countersunk screw to 10 Nm using a small amount of medium thread locker. To adjust the preload, scroll the O-ring down to the pot's seal. Gently sit on the bike in full riding gear and assume riding position. Maintain the position for a while and then gently get off the bike. Use a ruler to measure the gap between O-ring and pot's seal. This measurement is called the sag. The standard operating range for the sag must be 2 to 3 millimeters. If the value is close to 2, the bike will be stiffer. If close to 3, the bike will be more comfortable. Use the proper tools to lock or unscrew the collar adjuster to adjust the sag. Please note, max three full turns for frame sizes between 500 and 595. Max two full turns for frame sizes 440 and 465. Once the required setting is reached, lock the system, tightening the collar lock against the collar adjuster. For more information, please see the specific instruction card.